Welcome back to Yoga by Paige. In this practice, we are going to do a little bit of myofascial release work. Um, what that does is there's a layer that actually tacks down around the muscles that can kind of get bunched up every now and then. Most people have heard of myofascial release at this point. If not, it feels like a bit of self-massage and I like to refer to it as sometimes it's a little hurt so good. It hurts at first, but it feels so good afterwards. So you're going to want a couple of myofascial tune-up balls. So if you don't have tune-up balls, tennis balls work really well. Also, um, lacrosse balls can be fantastic as well. You will definitely want a yoga block. Um, and then I have a blanket here just in case for um, some cushioning or a pillow. Uh, it's nice to have nearby as well. So with that said, if you have your tune-up balls ready, go ahead and take them out of a bag if you have a bag and set that aside. And we're just gonna get right into it. So we're gonna be focusing on the lower part of our body today. Uh, we're gonna start from our foundation, our feet, work our way up through our calves, hammies, and then get a little bit into the front of our leg too, into our quads. So without further ado, let's hop in. I'm gonna stand up and what we're gonna do is take the ball here and place it on your mat or, or the ground, your surface. And there's not a whole lot of fancy movement to this. We're just gonna kind of grip the ball with our foot. So just right there in the center of your foot, grip. And then once you do that, you try to keep your heel down on the ground and what we're gonna do is just kind of rock forward and back a little bit just to explore the sensation of the ball underneath our feet here. So kind of scribble the ball with your foot back and forth, back and forth, as you start to kind of suss out these areas that can use a little bit more attention. And then what, once you kind of find one of those areas, after some scribbling here, what we're gonna do is just pause. So I like to take the toes and grip over that ball and then kind of roll forward. Oh, that's tight in that arch. And then roll back, yeah. One last full length, forward and back, forward and back. And then just shake that foot out and then come to stand equally on both feet and really notice that difference here from side to side on your feet. And just to begin, it's not very fancy, right? We're just kind of exploring the entire length of our foot. So, so once you're down here on the mat, what we're gonna do is start working on our cab. Pin the ball between the block and your leg. What we're gonna try to do is sit up nice and tall. You can straighten this leg out as much as you can. And then we're just gonna do this concept called cross fiber. So you're just gonna go back and forth, back and forth, perpendicular to the muscle there. And then we're just gonna lift this ball up and shift it up the calf more towards the belly of the meat there. Just pause in a spot where you feel some tension. And then what we're gonna do here is flex those toes and you might really feel that ball dig in and then point Ooh. and flex and point. And we'll do that one more time here. Flex and point. Last one, flex and point. And then here you can actually go with the muscle here. You can kind of shift forward and back, forward and back. You might roll your ankle a little bit. And then if you want to come back to that cross fibering, you're more than welcome to do that as well. So there's really no right or wrong to our myofascial release here. We're just trying to break up some of the adhesions that happen through our day-to-day -day activities. All right, we'll lift our leg up, move the ball up just a little bit more. So it's not quite behind the knee, but it's a little bit further up. And what I like to do here is, this is where you start to feel some of those tendons connecting to the knee joint. So be really gentle here. Those aren't necessarily made to stretch. You might notice that it becomes a little more stiff. So just find something that feels really good and really serving for you. All right, you can point and flex again. See if that feels good. You can cross fiber. You can even lean forward as you lean forward. That'll put a little bit more pressure into your leg, resulting into more pressure that comes into the muscle. Yeah. All right.